Hey y'all, 828 Find Adventure here. I've had a lot of people ask about my fire pit, so I'm gonna show you how I made it. Let's check it out. Okay guys, first thing you do when you're building a fire pit is put a stake in the ground where the center of your fire pit is going to originate. Tie a rope to it and then measure out the distance you would like to make the circle. That's what I did and I was doing a 12 foot circle. Then I just marked it and walked around the stake and made a big circle around it and then I knew where I needed to dig out the dirt. After I got all the dirt out and cleared, I used landscape block to mark my circle all the way around. These are pretty big, they weigh about 20 pounds a piece. Then I filled it with gravel and leveled it the best I could. The next step was I started adding the pavers to the inside. The ones I used were interlocking and only went together a certain way. So I started in the center and worked my way out like a puzzle. Now for another pro tip, instead of making 100 trips back and forth to Lowe's and Home Depot, have everything delivered. You don't want to be driving back and forth and it's worth it just to have this stuff dropped off at your house so you have everything there so you can build your fire pit and get it done. Now I went ahead and used the landscape block a different style than I used to outline the fire pit to build the actual fire pit in the center. I stacked them in a circle and that's all I did and I just leave them like that. I didn't glue them with caulk or anything like that. The weight of the block is sufficient to keep them in place. Now that I had the floor all laid out and all the pavers for the floor down, they overlapped the landscape block circling the fire pit. When I had it like this, then I etched a little line where I needed to cut these pavers that extended past. Then my next step was to go and buy a Harbor Freight inexpensive angle grinder or grinder of some sort with a cutting wheel so I could come back and cut these pavers to fit. This one is similar to what I used I figured I was only going to use it once or twice in its lifetime, so I just got a cheap one. And to tell you, the cutting wheel was almost the price of the actual tool. As you can see, the little angle grinder did a great job. Inside the fire pit, I put porous lava rock. I had read that if you don't use porous, they could explode under the heat of the flame. I also put a fireplace grate like you have in your wood-burning fireplace. Most people ask, what do I do to keep the rain out? Well, I bought a cover on Amazon that fit perfectly, but it only lasted a couple of years. It just wasn't really made well enough for the weather. This fire pit has been awesome. We've used it in all seasons, heavy snows. We just go out and chill by the fire pit. You know, we have hamburgers on the 4th of July. It has just been great. Now, a couple of things I've added over the years was a screen to keep the sparks from flying around when it's windy. I also had a buddy make a snuffer for it. He put handles on it and everything. He made it on his CNC machine, and it's fantastic, and we use it as a table sometimes. This is our little camp stove. It's made by fireboxstove.com. You should check them out. Well, I hope you like my video on making the fire pit. <laughs> it was pretty easy. Like I said, just have the stuff delivered. Making a hundred trips like I did in my vehicle to go get all those blocks. It's very heavy. It really wears on your vehicle and good luck not tearing up your vehicle, putting them in there. If you have a trailer, great. Most people don't. So have them delivered. Have it all show up at your house. Build your fire pit and enjoy it because that's what it's all about. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. I said that again. Please subscribe. 
please hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. I got more stuff coming. See ya. Thank you.